Hello, and in this tutorial, it will be the first of a series about redstone tutorials. And this one will focus on redstone and its components. So, first, how do you get redstone? Well, if you would follow me here. So, red, there are two variants of redstone ore. There's the stone variant, which is on the left, and there's the deep slate variant, which exists deeper in the world. You must mine it with an iron pickaxe or a grater of a tool, and it exists from Y level negative 64 to Y15. This is what redstone dust looks like. After you mine redstone, this is what you get. It also drops some XP. So notice that when you place redstone dust down, it has this sort of star four corner formation. But when you place it next to each other, it forms this sort of wire connection sort of thing. This connection seems to have go up one block and also be able to go down. Also note that you can't place redstone dust on the bottom of blocks. Okay, next up. Here, redstone can be used to create a bunch of components with crafting tables. And there are many components in, in under the branch of redstone. So, there are blocks like inputs, which activate redstone, there's redstone, which is redstone, and there's outputs, which are sort of like affected by redstone. And there's sort of this both sort of block where it does both at once. It can activate and be activated by redstone. So, as a demonstration, let me just take these items out and place them on the floor so the lever is an input the redstone dust is redstone dust this redstone lamp is an output and this repeater is um yeah a both so once i activate this lever as you can see it, act it activates redstone which activates the lamp which activates the repeater which activates the other side of the redstone dust now here are our, a couple more examples of inputs, outputs, and both. So here are some inputs, for example, the lever and the button and redstone blocks. Here are outputs, which for example are rails, and drip leaf, um, note blocks, hoppers, bells, TNT, structure blocks, pistons, trapdoors, and a bunch of other stuff. And these are all affected by redstone. And finally, there's both. So for example, repeaters, comparators, observers, and redstone torches. These can be activated or act and activate redstone. Let's see another demonstration. As you can see here, there's a lever and redstone dust and a door. The lever is the input, the door is the output. So now in this setup, you could see there's a redstone lamp and a lever. How would you turn on the lamp with the lever? Pause the video now to think about it. Okay, so the solution is just connected up with redstone dust like this. As you can see, this redstone dust is pointing into the redstone lamp and connected to the lever. So when I hit the lever, it activates the redstone lamp. So this is just part one of the series. Part two will be about redstone wire strength and how blocks interact with redstone dust in the world. So I'll be releasing these videos every once in a while. So thanks for watching and goodbye.